with Kamar McKnight and Trip Davis. You guys, um, there's four players that shot in double points today. Just talk about what worked on the defense, I mean, offense and um, spreading out. Oh, uh, I mean, well, in practice and throughout the week, we get up a lot of shots. And the coach said shoot with confidence. So we just took that and we just shot with confidence. I think we shot the ball extremely well tonight. Uh, yeah. So what, what kind of, what, what's your average so far this year? What do you shoot? I couldn't even tell you, boss, man. But this was like a better night for you. Then. This was your uh, career yeah. high, 25 points. Oh, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a good night. I mean, uh, shout out to my teammates that kept giving me the ball. I just kept shooting, thinking in my head, shoot with confidence. So have you had one of those nights recently? Uh, no, nah, I, haven't, I haven't had one of those nights. It feels good, though. What can you say of the energy that you all played with tonight? Uh, we just wanted to come in like our last home game before we head to the road. We just wanted to come out, play real hard, and just continue to get better. And a part of that is just playing harder for each other, and it worked out in a positive way tonight. All right. Uh, when you when you came out tonight, did a uh, coach challenge you to? come out and uh, with a lot of energy and to come out and just uh, just uh, establish control of the game early? Oh, yeah, for sure. We, we want to we wanna kind of control things, play at our pace. We like to play fast. So I feel like we set the tone with that early in the game. And then everybody just kept feeding off the energy of the crowd, bench players, everybody. So what does a game like this do for you <laughs> moving forward? Can you Are there any takeaways that you feel you can use going forward? Uh, it's just a confidence booster. Like, again, I said, Fizz, they try to come in and play really hard since they're right down the street. Uh, and I just thought we just use this game to stay just real sharp and play with a lot of energy, and hopefully we just carry that onto the road. When the basket is looking that big, I mean, what kind of, I mean, what kind of feeling are you getting when, I mean, everything you're throwing up is pretty much going in? I don't know, man. I just want to say shout out to my teammates that kept giving me the ball. <laughs> Just, it just felt good. So you, you think you'll be ready to do that again next game moving forward? Is oh, that yeah, like, for sure. You're the man now? Nah, uh, we, we, we all the team, man. I was just happy to get a team win. Kamar, you came back in the second half and he drained 11 points with three threes. Um, just talk about what was working and what was said in the locker room going forward, I mean, before the second half. Uh, I've really been struggling from three lately, but uh, my coaches tell me they see the time I put into the gym, so they just tell me just keep letting it go. If I feel confident in my shot, I catch it right, just let it go, and I'm going to just continue to have that mindset. Mm -hmm. what, can you, what can you say about the, the feeling that uh, – the difference between Coach Ford and uh, Coach Penny, because uh, you can definitely see a difference in just in not only the uh, <laughs> the atmosphere but the energy out there. What can you say about the differences between both coaches? Um, just the stuff really he does off the court. He really just wants to keep us closer as a group, and you could tell that this coaching staff genuinely cares about us. I want to say Coach Ford and them didn't care. It's just that Coach Penny and them, they actually show it through affection. And, like, they still get tough on us. But at the end of the day, uh, we know before we love. leave the building, it's all love. So yeah. that just makes us all want to play harder for them when we're in between them lines. So in, in terms of style of play, uh, you seem to be playing faster than you did under uh, the other coach. Uh, yeah, we, we want to push the tempo. We, we got a lot of players, a lot of great players. So we just want to keep pushing the tempo. When you get tired, it's about come back in, play a minute, just keep pushing the tempo. So that is a big difference from last year. Oh, yeah, year. for sure. Yes, sir. You guys out-rebounded the um, Bulldogs 59-26. and 26. What was happening on defense and um, big ups to your big guys, I guess? Um, really just guarding them, forcing them to take tough shots. So that resulted to a lot of misses. And our big guys, they, they worked down low tonight. Uh, and they were just cleaning up a lot of shots. Us as guys, we like to help them a lot, but they really held down the grass tonight. Uh, what can you all, you all both say about the, uh, I guess, the spike in play of uh, Jalen Duke this year so far? Uh, just Coach Penny coming in and just instilling confidence in him, like, right away. Like, Jalen Duke always had it in him. He has all the tools to be a good basketball player. It's just his confidence is just at an all-time high right now, so he's playing really good basketball. Great. Now, it seems as though... I saw the Lipson game, and I think they won the game with their drive to the to the hoop. 
but you seem to shut those lanes down. Is that something you learned or something you took away from the Lipscomb game? Or? I mean, we just, I just feel like you didn't, weren't able hard. to stop the drive there too much. I didn't see you stop it in the late part of the game. I mean, we just try to play hard, and I feel like we, we, have each, we have each other's back all the time. So we just try to play as hard as we can. But, I mean, there was a difference in you stopping the fist down low, either guarding them pretty, hit pretty hard. Or I didn't see many drafts like I did at Lipscomb. Uh, I, I think a big part about that was we were really trying to force Lipscomb to not take as many threes because that's what they're really, really good at. So we would just rather them, we, we, our game plan was just playing them in the drive and just forcing them to take tough twos. So I think like that's what a part of it comes from. It was just us taking them from what they're comfortable doing, shooting threes. Well, it didn't seem like you were too tough on blocking the twos. I mean, they seem to be slipping back. <laughs> doing some one-on-ones, and uh, whereas tonight I saw a whole gang of people around the goal defensively. Uh, just competing harder. Okay. Just making sure we're in each other's help spots. Got it. All right, yeah. thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.